Eric Sorensen here with the uh, PC client group, and uh, we're going to talk about the 4G connection experiences using Intel platforms. First, I'll talk about some of the platforms we have here. Uh, the first up is uh, Oak Trail platform here. We also, or, I'm sorry, Cedar Trail here. Oak Trail on a tablet. This is running uh, Android Honeycomb. This is a uh, Toshiba laptop, and we have this connected to the big screen and back. And then over here we have a Samsung with a second generation core processor. Uh, this is an i3 processor in this one. Uh, this is similar to what an Ultrabook is going to look like. Uh, this specific model isn't called an Ultrabook, but when you look at the form factor, the sleekness, you can see it is very similar to what the Ultrabooks are going to be like. So we have a few uh, different demonstrations here just showing what connectivity looks like. And I should explain that this whole, all of these computers are connected over a uh, 4G backhaul. So uh, it's 4G connection. Can you show me the 4G backhaul? Yeah, so uh, this is a 4G USB modem through uh, Verizon LTE. It's connected to Cradle Point, and then that's connected via Wi Fi to all of these different systems. Right. One of the things I was hoping to show today uh, that kind of fits in with some of uh, Intel's always on, always connected message is uh, Smart Connect technology. So we have that installed on this laptop here. And what Smart Connect allows you to do is uh, it lets your computer work while it's asleep. And so it is Smart Connect will bring your computer out of sleep on an intermittent basis. Check your email, check Twitter, check Facebook. And automatically download those things, queue them up, and then put itself back to sleep. The cool thing about it is when it comes out of sleep, it's not actually coming all the way out of sleep. It's coming into an intermediate state. Uh, so I'll just show this to you. Uh, if you just look at the screen here, uh, this is my email uh, client here. It's Windows Live Mail, and I have no emails queued up. And then I'm also going to open up a Seismic desktop, and you can see kind of where we are. The last, uh, the last tweet I see is a tweet from Sanjeev Gupta saying hi there. The last Facebook update was a picture. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this machine to sleep. And as soon as I do that, I'm pulling out my phone here, and I'm going to send an email to that machine. So I'm just pulling up my uh, Gmail account, and I'm going to send it to the address that's associated with that Windows Live Mail. And I am just going to say, hello, IDF. And then in the message body, I'll say hello. And then I'm sending that right now to this computer. Now I'm going to come over here. I have uh, on this tablet. I have uh, Twitter set up, so I'm going to go ahead and send a message via Twitter. I'm just going to say a quick hello. And tweet that, sending a direct message to the Twitter account associated with that computer. And what you're going to see, you can actually see it right now, is right now this computer is in what we're calling an S0 prime state. So this computer is out of sleep, uh, but you don't see the screen on, you don't see the fans on. But right now it's actually checking my email. So the computer's working while it's asleep. I could have the lid shut. This could even be in my backpack sitting in my room ready to go for the next morning. So for instance, I take the train to work in the morning and I don't have internet access on the train. This saves me the step of having to turn on my laptop, you know, connect online, download all my emails, have them queued up before I can read them on the train. Even though I don't have internet access on the train, all those emails will be, be ready to go for me, so it saves me a lot of time. So this is going to stay awake for about a minute, and uh, once it goes back to sleep, I'll manually turn on the computer, bring it out of sleep, just by pushing the power button, and we can see that that email and that tweet will already be waiting for me to be able to consume. I've been asked whether this consumes more battery life, and it does consume battery life when it's on. Uh, like I said, the screen doesn't on, come on. And it's even intelligent about how it handles that. Uh, you can configure it to wait a longer period of time in between checking emails based on the battery life. So for instance, if this machine is down to 50% battery life, you can say check email every two hours. If it's full and topped off, you might want more frequent updates, you can have it check it every hour. And you can configure it, say you're so almost end user would configure that. Yeah, exactly. So a general consumer would know how to do that? Sure. Okay.
not just an Intel advanced user? Well, there's going to be a GUI somewhere. There's going to be a, a configuration setting. I, I assume it's going to come set to some default settings, but the user who wants to tweak that will be able to. Okay. So now you can see it's gone into uh, sleep mode again. I'm going to turn it on. It's going to take a second to initialize the screen. And then you can see there's a hello here, already loaded for me. And then when I open up Windows Live Mail, that hello IDF is already waiting for me. This is great. And it's really key to note, I could have the internet, com I wouldn't even have to have internet here at this point. It would already have it downloaded and queued up for me. Very good. So, thanks for stopping Looking by. Looking forward to playing around with this. Thank you.